SMA reader, Prose Song. And today I will be reading to you from Stars and Moonflowers in Our Garden by Rainbow Star underscore 772. That's me. Now, on to Chapter 3, Letter Deliveries and De-Stressing Candies. Russia woke up. His father had pulled the blanket off him and was trying to get him up. The sun was brightly shining through the window. It wasn't late, but it definitely was a bit later than he usually woke up. I'm up, I'm up, Dad! He said as he held tight to the pillow his dad was about to take from him. Good morning. Why are you so tired? Usually I don't have to come in and wake you on your free day. Russia stayed quiet, trying to think of an excuse. He didn't want to say that he'd stayed up to write a letter. He'd forgotten it was his free day today, and that he could do what he wanted. He really could have written the letter today, and not last night. He groaned a little. Dad, I'm just stupid. Leave me be. He grumbled. His dad hummed and left. Before he did, he spoke. Just tell me about this later. You missed the breakfast. Russia groaned and yelled out an, I'll leave, in response. He got up, closed the door, drew the curtains closed, then picked out an outfit. He got dressed. He'd picked out a black pair of shorts and a blue sweater. He put his hair into a ponytail before putting on his ushanka. Once he was dressed, he folded the letter he'd written the night before, put it into an envelope, and wrote, To the Night Gardener, on the back. And below it, he wrote, From Neeks. Once the ink was dry, he put it in his pocket. He left his room, then went outside, going to the patch of chamomile flowers below his window. He moved the flowers aside, careful to not damage them, and then he placed the letter in them. He knew the gardener had already watered them, as the soil was damp. He made sure that he positioned the letter so it'd be visible to the other. Then he moved away, walking around the palace for a while. Eventually, he found himself in America's office. America looked up when he heard him walk in. His expression went unreadable. Then he spoke. It was a softer tone than he'd ever heard from him before. You're not injured, are you? I'm not, Russia confirmed. Why are you here? I don't mind if you want to stay, America said, humming as he went back to his reorganization of medicinal herbs. Or, at least, that's what Russia thought they were. Russia took this as an invitation to stay around. Seeing America like this was conflicting to what he'd heard from others. It was conflicting, but nice to see the other was a bit relaxed. He'd been sick once, and America had been called to come treat him. America had been newly hired at the time, but he carried himself as if he'd been there forever. America had soothed him and checked his fever, then gone to asking about symptoms. He hadn't been so no-nonsense in his earlier days, but he guessed the guards coming in with such odd injuries might do that. He'd only been working at the castle for two years, but it felt like he'd been there longer. America was looking at him strangely, and lightly waved. Russia realized he'd been staring at him, and got embarrassed. His cheeks flushed as he apologized. America hummed, and went back to what he'd been doing. Something's on your mind, I presume? Yeah, something like that, Russia mumbled. America nodded and grabbed something, tossing it to him. That should help. It's a candy I worked on with Japan, he loosely explained. 
thank you, Russia said, confused. It's a de-stressor. Whatever's on your mind seems to be a source of stress. So that should make you feel better, America said with a hum. Russia nodded and popped it into his mouth. It tasted nice. It was quite calming. America seemed to pause at something, then turned to face Russia. Have you eaten today? he asked. Why do you ask? Russia asked in return. America sighed and went behind his desk, opening a drawer. Here, I keep little snacks like these back here, America said, handing Russia a bag of sunflower seeds. They seemed to be roasted and looked quite appetizing. Russia smiled a bit and thanked America before trying one. They were slightly sweet and had a twinge of salt. They were really good. If you're going to be in my office, then you should get something in your system, America said with a smile. Then someone walked into the office. Their arm was bandaged. America seemed to immediately recognize them. Good, you actually came in for a follow-up. America said to the person. They laughed and sat down near the table. My sister would kill me if I didn't. Plus, you'd probably track me down. They said with a fond and joking tone. They had a smile on their face. Damn right I would, Tally. Now, unwrap those so I can get some fresh bandages on it. He sounded stern, but there was more to it. Russia had seen the American grab a couple medical supplies, but he had them now and was checking over what he presumed was his work. After a second, America bonked Tally on the head. I told you not to use that arm, you little shit. And what'd you do? Fessy steel squam. America sounded frustrated by the other. The Latin roughly translates to, you did it anyway. Ask for forgiveness, not permission? The person tried. That doesn't apply to medical issues. America chided as he went back to treating the person. Soon, the person left America's office, leaving it to just be the two of them again. My shift is ending here pretty soon, and you shouldn't miss another meal, America said softly. I'm not kicking you out, just saying that you should have a meal with your family. Russia nodded at that. Feel free to show up here anytime. I don't mind. America said as Russia left. Russia decided he might just take him up on that. The hairler actually had a very nice presence. His disposition wasn't too dissimilar to the nighttime gardener's. Maybe he was wrong about the gardener not being America. Seeing him do work like this might tell him more about him. That's the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time, and I will see you tomorrow!